We've got a new Smith & Wesson 686 SSR. It's the Pro Series. It's a six shot L frame Smith & Wesson revolver. And this is relatively new. I put a couple rounds through it, but this is our first video on it. We'll be shooting some Remington Golden Saber 38 plus P and some Remington Golden Saber 357 Magnum. We'll be bringing you that video next. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is the Smith & Wesson 686 SSR 4 inch 357 Magnum with the bead blasted stainless steel finish on it. It's just a beautiful revolver to look at. This is their entry gun into competitive shooting in the revolver class. Put out for that purpose by Smith & Wesson. What we have in it right now is Remington Golden Sabre 125 grain 357 Magnum. I couldn't tell where I was hitting with it. Did better that time. Well, I figured out that in the rear side aperture, it just wants just a touch of the red. It's taming the 357 pretty good. No problems with that. It does have some recoil to it, but it's just uh, you know a little learning going on here with it for the first time. It is a pro series, so we'll keep shooting it. The Smith & Wesson 686 SSR. Here is some Remington Golden Sabres, 38 Special Plus P. The speed loader, just in case you guys were wondering, that works with the 686 or 586 is the HKS 586 Alpha. Double action. Wow, that has some flash to it. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, we're gonna feel the pain now. We're gonna shoot some 357 Magnums out of it. Remington Golden Sabres, 125 grain. What were you saying about this revolver again? I just said it's a good looking revolver, man. Okay, we're gonna single action at first round on the 357 Magnum. You might want to step back. <laughs> I flinched that last round. That's not a whole lot of recoil. I gotta be honest here. You know, it doesn't sting you in the web of your hand like my little J-frame does. So that's very manageable with full house 357 Magnums. 
That's a sweet revolver. It's very similar to the revolver I really, really want real bad, which is the 586 L Comp, except they will have a three inch barrel. That's probably the next gun I'm gonna be getting, you guys. I want a full size revolver similar to this. Smith & Wesson. When it counts. Oh wait, that's six hour. <laughs> oh, that was a fail. These are some 38 Special Plus P's. Last round missed. That is a fast shooting revolver with those 38 Special Plus P's. Well, that was the whole idea behind the revolver is Smith & Wesson brought it out so people could use it in competition. Yeah. It has right. a great trigger. I think if I'm right, it has like a Boss mainspring housing. It's so smooth and it's not heavy at all. It's very consistent. It's as good as some Performance Center revolvers I've looked at. Or better. I mean, some of them uh, Performance Center guns have had horrible triggers. <laughs> but then again, we're trigger snobs. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to shoot it. Okay guys, believe it or not, it's starting to get dark here. And I've got the Smith & Wesson Pro Series 686 SSR. Yeah, these speed loaders work a lot easier in this revolver. All right, let's see if I can hit anything with it. Wow, that is nice. That is very nice. Oh, clears them out nice. Of course, these are not cheap rounds, so we just bought a bunch of them, so we're using them as practice rounds also. And I'm sorry, these are the Remington Golden Saber 38 Special Plus P. Yep. And that HKS works wonderful. It's a joy to shoot, man. Look how easy that clears out. There's no brass sticking or nickel or whatever sticking at all. They go in clean and they come out great. Go. fantastic guys dr loomis over here my, <laughs> my first uh, 686 and this thing is just fantastic great revolver so those of you that own a 686 and i know there's a lot of you out there i get it include me in the club guys thank you so much for watching the video remember your second amendment is worth protecting